Once upon a time. Not all too long ago, tasty treats were made entirely by hand, making their enjoyment a luxury few could afford. Confectioners blanched almonds in hot water, peeling the skin off each individual nut. Bakers put the chopped nuts in a large copper pot together with powdered sugar. After stirring well, they placed the pot in the oven and roasted the sweet mixture. The result was a creamy mass of marzipan. But then, some 150 years ago, a Berlin company invented something new. A roasting process that made possible the industrial production of sweets. And an almost unlimited variety of products. One and a half centuries later, the same company is still producing marzipan, providing about one-third of the world's supply, together with a neighboring firm in the Berlin district of Neukölln. The most important ingredient comes from California. Each year, Mall Marzipan processes more than seven tons of almonds. Before the actual processing begins, the nuts are rinsed and pre-warmed. Until the end of 2010, the almonds were peeled using steam heated to 180 degrees Celsius. But starting in early 2011, a new machine has taken over the blanching. The almonds are dropped into 95 degree water. A conveyor belt moves them through a solution. Unlike the steaming process, the new blanching machine doesn't soften the entire almond, but only the outer skin. The nuts then fall into a peeler. Here, rollers peel off the skin. To make sure all the skins are removed, the almonds pass through three pairs of rollers. A ventilator blows off the pieces of skin. A conveyor belt transports the peeled almonds to further blowers that dry the nuts and remove the remaining skin fragments. The new process saves us around 50,000 euros in energy costs a year, plus 20,000 euros in water. We also achieve much higher quality and better processing abilities because the old process destroyed the structure of the almonds due to the high temperatures used during the steaming process. In contrast to the 180 degree steam, the 95 degree water in the new blanching machine doesn't destroy the protein structure of the almonds. That not only saves energy, but also improves the processing and quality of raw materials in the steps that follow. In a special room, a so-called breaker plate and small knives crush the almonds. Because the sticky protein structure isn't destroyed by blanching, the almonds retain their firm consistency even after they're crushed. And that has a positive effect on the taste of the final product. With the hot water solution, the Berlin company accomplishes on a large industrial scale what used to be done by brewing the almonds in a pot. Afterwards, the almond pulp is sweetened with sugar. In the roasting facility, the pulp is heated to more than 100 degrees Celsius. 
The sugar is candied and mixed with the ground almonds into a pasty mass, forming the actual marzipan. The company uses the same production facility to process apricot kernels as well. But instead of marzipan, the result is perzipan, a product known to dessert lovers. In addition, Mall Matsipan uses other raw materials to produce further products. Workers fill a special candying facility with slivered nuts. The nuts are then covered in a boiling sugar solution. To bind the sugar and round off the flavor, the conveyor belt carries the sweets to a deep frying facility where the nuts are dipped into hot sunflower oil. The problem is that just like in all deep fryers, part of the raw material is burned and sinks to the bottom. And that means the entire quantity of oil has to be discarded and replaced after just six hours of operation. In the new production process, several ducts spray hot oil directly onto the product. Now only the excess drops and single bits of burnt nuts fall to the bottom. These are collected in a tray and sent through a cylinder. Here the badly burnt particles are separated from the rest and siphoned off. The purified sunflower oil flows back into the facility where it's used again. That allows the company to save more than 50% on sunflower oil. Compared to the old facility, the new one gives us potential savings of 50,000 euros and the flexibility of the new machines allows us to better serve the needs of our customers. The new facility makes it possible to use just the right dose of oil for the given variety of nut. That way the quantity of oil sprayed onto the conveyor belt is only as much as the nut can absorb. As a result, the final product tastes like nuts and not like oil. New techniques in the food processing industry not only save energy and raw materials, they also appear to improve quality. That makes it all the more enjoyable. And they all kept improving happily ever after. <laughs>